Hello everyone, welcome back to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematic Shortcuts. In this video, we are going to discuss the various methods that are used for cleaning food. Once the food has been grown in the fields and it has been harvested from there, then what all steps are to be followed or what all procedures need to be followed so that we can get a good quality output from these uh, crops. So this video is specially made for competitive exams, specially for CTET, the state TETs as well as for NTSE. So these methods need to be understood very, very nicely. And the PDF has already been uploaded on the website that is www.suresh.agarwal.in So you can visit the website and download the PDF from there in case you want the PDF. And moving ahead with today's video, first of all, once the crop is harvested from the fields, the grains need to be separated. So the process is known as threshing. The process by which the grains are separated from the parent plant is known as threshing. And basically it's done for grains, not for vegetables and fruits because they are hand-picked. So grains need to be separated from the plant by the process of threshing. So we can say it is the process of separation of the grains from the shaft. So what is the shaft? The stick of the plant, the main plant, that is known as the shaft because once it is harvested, it's almost dry and the grains are there that are present on top and that method of separation is known as threshing. So uh, it can be done in different ways. The first method is by using wooden sticks. So in threshing, the first method is by using wooden sticks. The crop, the harvested crop is placed on the ground and then wooden sticks are used to beat the uh, harvested crop which causes the grains to separate out from the shaft. So this is the first method used by using wooden sticks. The next method is by use, uh, spread, spreading the ear heads on the roads. So it is by spreading the ear heads on the road. So how is this done? The ear heads are the top part of the harvested crop. Like if for example we talk about wheat, so you just can imagine what a wheat plant looks like. On top over here we have the grains. So if you cut this part, only this much part is taken, this is the ear head. So the ear head is uh, spread on the road and then special machines are made to run on those ear heads and that causes the grains to separate from that ear head. It can also be done for crops such as corn in which the grains are uh, slightly difficult to separate. So in such cases where the grains are bound very strongly to the ear head, this method can be used. So this is the second method. Moving ahead, the third method is by using bullock carts and rollers. Bullock carts and rollers. So bullock carts and rollers, this was something which was used in an ancient uh, times. Bullocks they are made to pull a stone roller on the crop which has been spread on the ground and that causes the grains to separate out. So this is the third method and the fourth met method which is the most common and the most modern method which is used currently is a mechanical device which is known as a combine. It is a machine which is a combined harvester as well as a thresher. So it is attached to tractors and when the tractor moves in the field the crop is harvested and the thresher part also separates the grains from the harvested crop at the same time. So both the processes are done using a single, uh, single machine and that machine is known as a combine. So this is again something very very important for the competitive exams what is meant by combine. Now once the grains have been separated from the 
parent plant they need to be clean because when the threshing is done along with the grains some amount of uh, hay or chaff also goes with the grains they are not just grains some hay may go some st uh, small pieces of the plant they st may still be there and they need to be removed so the second method that is followed after threshing is known as winnowing these days winnowing is also done using machines but manually also it can be done the basic principle behind winnowing is that the grains along with the chaff they are placed in a flat uh, you can say a sort of a utensil and then they hold it like this and they just keep shaking it so the grains they fall straight down because they are heavier whereas the lighter shaft it is blown off by the wind slightly away from the grains so we get two different heaps one of grains and one of shaft so this is the process of winnowing over here after this there can be another process that is known as hand picking this is generally used for cleaning the grains at homes so you must have seen in your kitchen like when we prepare the meals and we uh, want to prepare some pulses or rice when we take the desired quantity in a utensil we just have a look and we just look around if some impurity may not be present some insect or probably a piece of stone or something like that so that is what is known as hand picking we just using our hands we can uh, with our eyes we can look and if something different from the grains is present we can just pick it up manually and we can remove it so this method is known as hand picking and it is commonly used method to separate the undesirable components from food grains which are different in color size and shape then the next method that can be used for cleaning food is known as sedimentation this is generally used for liquids such as if you want to uh, separate sand from water what do we do we place the utensil containing dirty water and we let it stay for some time the sand being uh, sand being heavier settles down due to the influence of gravity after some time and clean water is left on top we can just pour out that water and the impurities will be left behind in the original container so this is what is meant by sedimentation and the process of pouring out of the liquid is known as decantation so this is another method for separating heavier and insoluble components from a liquid mixture and the last method that is the fifth method can be filtration filtration is a very common method we use usually use it at home also like whenever we prepare tea once the tea has been prepared we use a sieve and we pour the tea in that sieve so the tea leaves they are collected in the sieve and the tea goes down as a filtrate the same method can be used for purification of water also using uh, water filters at home we know there's a filter in the uh, equipment and when we pour the water the solid particles that are there they are filtered out and we get clean water which is further disinfected by various methods it can be a uv filter or uh, it can be a chlorine filter various methods can be used so this is the method of filtration so these are the various methods using which we can clean our food and this is the last video for the topic food after this we'll be beginning with the new topic that is materials in which we'll be talking about the various types of fabrics and plastics so keep watching and don't forget to hit the like button if you like the videos thanks for watching